had been take you through slow motion. <clears throat> so, before I make any critical comments, know that you throw the ball very well. There's a lot of things that, that you do that I wouldn't change. Um, your whole upper half is very good, very well timed. Um, the style of how your arm cocks is very good. So in relation to foot strike right now, this has got out of sync. I don't know why this gets out of sync, but bear with me here. All right. So in relation to foot coming down right there, okay, our arm times that really, really well. Okay, but if I watch your front leg right here, that's where you firm up. Okay, so it's pretty darn good, dude. Um, I really don't have a lot of comments as far as that. So our upper half timing is good. I'll just say this. Look at the path of your front knee. Okay. Right there. Okay, yesterday we saw good throwers are going to be taking that path. We're just trying not to kick our leg out from under us too soon. Um, so by the time... You know, if, if I take you to the top of your leg kick, okay, so right here you move forward. I, I, you could turn away a little bit more, but let's say you just did this. As your leg would go down, you'd want to be moving forward, okay? And so just look at how much more your leg has moved than your head has. So we just want to make sure as our leg goes down, we're actually traveling forward as much as possible. Um, we just don't want our leg to go out from under us before we move. So that would be my biggest criticism. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't change anything with your upper half. Maybe have a little bit more counter rotation where you're turned away a little bit more. Um, I always suggest that, but you know that's up to personal preference. I just think we can always benefit from that, but do a lot of things really well. So please let me know if you have any questions, but I would just say move down the mound before that leg comes out from under you.